Welcome everyone, welcome to an exciting show match between Jesse the Emperor and Herr Acker. And I have to say, these days we have so many events, so many show matches, so many exciting things happening. It's, it's a real joy and a real pleasure for me. Um, as always, the players uh, start on Nomad, because this is just uh, the standard map, the best map, the only map in Age of Empires 2. And so let's see uh, what they are able to do here. So Jesse the Emperor in the blue, dropping down to town center here. He is playing as the Viking, so he might want to go for some water aggression. Uh, on the other side, Herr Aka is playing as the Spanish. And the Spanish are very good because they can get the town center up uh, quicker because of the faster uh, builders. Uh, and then they have a very strong fast castle into Conquistador's play. Uh, so, as Jesse the Emperor has been away for a long time from the game, I think in this situation I favor uh, Herr Acker. Herr Acker has played a lot recently, so he should be well prepared for this show match. But let's see what Jesse the Emperor um, still remembers about the game. I mean, uh, yeah, you have to remember he is the Emperor, uh, so he has other things to attend to. And at the same time, Jesse is also streaming again, so he has been absent for a long time, but I can tell you he is back and he is ready to do more streaming. And I'm wondering if this is a normal speed. Yes, this is normal speed, okay. Uh, because it looked a little bit slow to me. Um, but and so no food please laming, where food please just uh, changed the speed of the game uh, in one of our events. Um, so yeah, let's see what those guys will be able to do. Uh, so far, not much happening. Both players going uh, on wood, of course. They want to pump out those fishing ships um, to get an early food economy. One villager always getting the shore fish next to the dock. And uh, the same goes here for Jesse the Emperor. And so nothing too different between those two players at the moment at least. And uh, so, yeah, of course, they're pretty even in terms of villagers. It's just a matter of the uptime of the town center. Uh, not much uh, different here. Uh, but yeah, uh, Jesse the Emperor now sending out a scouting villager. And um, if we go to his point of view, and uh, <laughs> there is again a bug, uh, because as you can see, uh, I have selected the Akka, but I can actually see Jesse the Emperor's point of view. Um, so there has just been an update that has been released, so I think it has introduced more bugs. But it's okay, we know what's going on, so this is of course Jesse the Emperor's point of view. And if we go up to Aka's point of view, we see what he can see, a little bit of scouting. And uh, we can kind of see a little bit of difference to the show match, the best of 21 between Food Police and Freddy which where they actually did more scouting by this time. So for instance, this sheep, uh, it's not being utilized, it's not being taken, so this could be used for scouting. Uh, and here I was thinking Jesse would drop a mill, but no, he is just faking the mill and is dropping a house, but still he is housed. Uh, so he really needs to fix that, um, but maybe he just wants to uh, play with 10 villagers. Uh, oh, my bad. Of course, uh, this is uh, of course switched, so instead we were looking at the point of view of Aka, and this is the point of view of Jesse the Emperor. And um, so far, yeah, as I said, uh, both players scouting, they try to, to get a hold of the position, uh, maybe find your, the opponent, and then uh, at the same time uh, just get the economy going, especially in lower levels, it's uh, just very important to just get the economy going and uh, not waste too much time. Now, if you look at the score difference, this is mostly due to scouting, because Jesse the Emperor, as we can see now, going a lot for scouting, so I like that very much. Um, he really has not lost his way, I have to say, uh, really going for some super nice scouting. And uh, the same cannot be said for Heraka, uh, but Heraka also doesn't have the excess sheep. Uh, and I think overall he is fine. He can just send out a villager now. I think that's something he might do. Uh, build a house and then explore from here. Uh, however, not exploring at all is uh, really detrimental to the gameplay, to your strategy. Uh, Heaka 
has the color of food, please, and the economy of food, please. Uh, idling quite a bit here, but I think it wasn't too bad overall. Now taking another uh, boar that was conveniently placed close to the town center. He also has some deer over here to take, so there's some food uh, to be taken. And he could run into the situation that he wants to go up to the next age, but doesn't have the second building, because the lumber jacks are super efficient still, they don't need a lumber camp, and if he just goes for the hunt and the boar and it just drops it all off, uh, then he will be surprised that he cannot go up. Uh, but um, I think he has played enough games uh, for him to know that, and indeed he is constructing the mill. Now on the other side, uh, going over to Jesse the Emperor's point of view, uh, we can see he has dropped a lumber camp here, so that is already the second building, but the problem is uh, he has very little food, and uh, if we look around, there's a boar here, but that's pretty far away, and a boar here, also pretty far away, so he didn't have the best access to food overall, but he has berries over here and more berries over here, so maybe double mill would even be viable at some point. And um, so let's see what the players will do from here. Jesse the Emperor uh, has, um, or, uh, sorry, Haaka has more villagers. He has 25 villagers, and um, that is probably due to the fishing economy. As you can see here, uh, eight fishing ships or seven fishing ships uh, over here. Whereas Jesse the Emperor has a couple of fishing ships, but he's mostly using them for scouting, and that is actually. Uh, very nice. If we switch over to his point of view, uh, we can see that he already knows where the dock of uh, Haaka is. So that is actually actually very nice. So the sc his scouting is uh, superb. However, unfortunately for him, uh, Haaka is in the one location that Jesse did not scout so far. And um, yeah, so. We, we can really see that those uh, players have a different approach than Fuplis and Fredinovich as uh, there is no early aggression, there's there's no laming, no walling, uh, there's just peaceful cohabitation here on this island, uh, increasing or building up the economy, uh, Haka now getting in another boar, so he will be uh, swimming in food. But he really also needs to think up uh, or to or thinks about getting up to the next age, uh, and the boar is just what he needs for that. Although he's now reaching 500 food, uh, so it should be uh, it should be fine. Oh, uh, yes. No, he's actually already in feudal age again. I was confusing the points of view. <laughs> I'm really sorry. Uh, sorry for that. Now, Jesse the Emperor, on the other hand, I think uh, we just saw that, uh, if we switch over to his point of view again, uh, we can see, um, yes, that he is researching the feudal age, and uh, so he also is able to go up, and since he scouted the dock, he may be able to pump out some uh, fire galleys and really attack the fishing ships of Aka, which would be a, a really big blow on Nomen especially. Uh, but instead, uh, he is going for the barracks, even though he has not found his opponent yet, but by this point he must assume that uh, Haaka is somewhere in the dark over here. So it's uh, something that uh, that can make sense, however, I would have liked uh, him to scout the, the uh, position first and uh, then see if he can actually find some damage, because as you can see, all of these villages are pretty much untouchable because they're right underneath the town center. So uh, it's always difficult, Nomad, to really, uh, really go for early aggression with scouts, for instance, okay. as we've seen on Land Nomad in the Best of 21 uh, between Freddy Nuich and Food Please. Now, uh, also, Jesse the Emperor had a lot of food in the bank, so he could have almost gone for a fast castle, or he could go for a fast castle, uh, but he's lacking gold and he's not sending villages to gold, so this, uh, we see a little bit of rust here, he is really not thinking about the next step, he's just thinking about the current step, um, so he's just sending those to, to wood, when he just should send three or four to go just to get up to the 200 uh, and then click up, because I am sure if we jump over to the point of view of uh, Herr Acker, um, we can see that he is already on the way up 
to Castle Age. Um, and I'm curious if he will go for Stone. Um, if he wants to drop a castle, he's already late. He should have gone uh, for that a little bit early. But I think he just wants to go for water first. And that's exactly what he's doing. Uh, and all the fishing ships of Jesse the Emperor just have to flee. And um, fire galleys are attacking the dock. And uh, so it doesn't look good for Jesse the Emperor, basically. Uh, although... He does have more villages, but that's maybe just because of the uptime to the castle age. Uh, and now Taaka showing a little bit of... Um, yeah, that he's not perfectly prepared because uh, he's only now going to stone, when ideally you should already uh, be on stone when you're going up to castle age. And then just buy another hundred stone and then depending on how many villagers, etc. Um, it uh, should already be enough to drop the castle because you just want to be quick with this, you want to go right into the face of your opponent, or what you can also do is drop it defensively and then pump out the Conquistadors. Now Jesse, on the other hand, he is preparing scouts, he is uh, getting another a blacksmith, an archery range, he has the barracks, now getting another stable, so he just wants to go for feudal aggression, and it looks like he has ceded water control to Haaka, and maybe he should split up this uh, fishing ship from the rest. Uh, so that this fire galley doesn't chase uh, any further. Or um, it's actually already a fire ship, so uh, nice thinking from Haaka to actually do the upgrade to the fire ship. Uh, of course, uh, Vikings, uh, which uh, is the civilization of Jesse the Emperor, they don't have um, fire ships, so basically that's not an option for uh, Jesse the Emperor, but instead. If he goes up to Castle Age, he could go for Longboats, which are a super, super strong unit on water. Now, the Scouts are coming in, but we see some clutch quick walls here. Uh, maybe not even necessary, as there's not much to hit here, to be honest. Uh, although the stone is kind of exposed, and uh, Jesse could actually find some damage, but no. As I said, everything's just clustered around the town center, and there's just not much to do here. Uh, however, Haaka, of course, uh, doesn't have any units, so he needs something uh, yeah, to fight back. And since he doesn't have anything, he is about to lose the first villager in this game. Yes, uh, of course, it did cost two scouts, but uh, it might, might have been worth it in the end. Uh, as the villager numbers are now quite even. Now we see uh, on water Demorov, but here we see the trademarked uh, Fruit Please economy, so I think uh, Jesse needs to pay some royalties to Fruit Please uh, for what he's doing here. And um, But yeah, I like the scout aggression, I just think it's a little bit too late. Uh, and as we said on Nomad, pretty difficult because everything can just be so clustered around the town center. Uh, and now the first knight is out, and we've seen this matchup of knight versus scout <laughs> all too many times. Uh, and so the scouts will just die, and then now you can see that it's just a waste of resources. Um, yes, as I've said, once uh, in a cast, scouts and nomad are trapped, and of course they do have their uses, but as we've seen now in, in many of these games, uh, they're really not able to accomplish too much, and the opponent just goes past castle, and then the scouts just look stupid. And uh, yeah, so I think much better position here for Haaka. He has the knights out. He is in castle age, whereas Jesse is still just in feudal age. Uh, then also Haaka still has the water. He has completely ousted Jesse from water, so there's a big advantage there. And so I think Peaka just needs to push forward, uh, get some more knights, and then just uh, go forward. Now he has uh, has plus one defense. He's getting bloodlines at the moment, uh, which definitely he also needs for uh, the conquistadors if he wants to go for that. And I think he wants to because he's going for stone. Mm, just needs a little bit more. And uh, yes, so a lot of units going down here. Our first few spearmen are out. Spearmen, of course, having a nice bonus damage against the knights, uh, but one spearman usually not enough. And you can see how the knights just clean up the entire army of Jesse the Emperor, and now they could just run into the wood line and just wreak havoc. However, some nice quick walls there as well from Jesse the Emperor, but it might have been also a trap for himself. Now we see. Uh, 
all the villagers garrisoning inside of the town center and there's not enough space actually inside the town center to fit all of them so they're standing there helplessly in the face of the knights but of course the first attack is being repelled uh, but i think the damage has been done the all the army was killed the knights are still alive they can just run around poke in and out uh, maybe pick a villager here or there and there's not much that Jesse can do. Meanwhile, Aka prepping more, more knights. And at some point, he will just drop the GG castle. He's taking his sweet time. Um, he's... So in this situation, what you could consider is getting the mining upgrade. Something that uh, uh, especially lower level players, I think, never get. is like the, the mining upgrade for stone. Uh, but when you really want to go to that castle, it can be highly beneficial. Uh, but he needs just 100 stone more, so he can just buy that from the market. Um, and then that's basically it. That's the, the GG moment. He has the knights, he will have the castle. And then there's nothing, nothing that, uh, that the Emperor is able to do. And so the show match seems to start off very strong for Haka. And yes, we see the castle. I don't really like this position. I guess it's on the hill, but... Uh, honestly, in this position, you could just place it here and just end the game right here and there. Uh, because we know that Jesse is kind of uh, known for cockroaching, so he uh, might stay longer in the game than he should. And um, so let's see, let's see what's going on. The castle is up. Also, siege workshop following. More houses being produced here. And Haka also having more villagers, although he is a little bit under boom, so uh, that's something he could improve is get uh, more villagers consistently. As you can see here, he has four more villagers queued, uh, but at this point, if he would have produced those um, consistently, they could have already been out. But this is just some small things. He is putting on the pressure, he is ousting Jesse from his base, so there's not much to criticize there. And I think once the siege rolls in, uh, then it should be GG for our Emperor. Um, so, yeah, let's see what uh, the next match will hold. So this is, uh, of course, game one in this show match. I don't know how many games they will play. I think they, they themselves don't know how many it will be. But uh, I think they will just play as long as uh, they're, they're still having fun with the game. But now... Knights on the, can just fight underneath the town center with a plus two defense. Um, of course, they're not quite strong enough to take the town center, but it's really not necessary because uh, the battering ram is coming out and conquistadors are coming out, and just the emperor is uh, now finally advancing to the castle age, and so this might be castle age into GG uh, kind of situation. But. Um, uh, I don't really see a comeback potential for Jesse the Emperor. I think Haka just has this under his firm control, even now adding a second town center, which is always good. Even if you're in this commanding position, just don't risk it. Just don't throw away the game. Just drop the second town center. Just get a little bit more economy uh, while you're pushing in the front. Uh, and that's way you cannot lose. Because that's something that, that we have seen, that people have a very strong position, and in the end they lose, because they're not doing uh, what is necessary behind all of that, which is adding the economy, making sure that your opponent is not able to come back to the game. And now the ram is attacking the town center, and we see the GG being called by Jesse the Emperor, and what a performance here from Herr Aka. Very well played, and GG, and um, what a good game, what a good first game in the show match, and uh, I think we're all hyped for the next one.